Hey, is this thing on? Hello, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's time to sit down and make your five-year plan. A lot of times people look up and they think, wow, look, I feel like I've wasted so much time. I don't know what direction my life is going and I'm not really pleased or fulfilled in a life that I have currently, but I don't know what to do. So start your five-year plan today. You don't have to start at the beginning of the year. You don't have to start when there's a big life event or shift going on. Start today and you are going to thank yourself, especially five years from now when you realize, wow, I have achieved everything that I set out to do in my five-year plan and I can see the work that I put in and I'm feeling really proud of myself for all the accomplishments that I've made so far. Having a clear vision and direction of where you want your life to go can be so rewarding and also really inspiring. But you can make decisions and choices that set you on the right track to move toward that fulfilling life that you're going to love. That doesn't mean that you don't love your life throughout the journey, along the process, but you stop to celebrate yourself and still encourage yourself to continue to move forward and to gain more success in all different areas that you're hoping for in your life. So let's dive into step one, that is for you to reflect on your values and your passions. I use this technique often in my life coaching where I speak to my clients about big picture thinking. And I ask them kind of at the end of the movie, when the credits are rolling, what do you want your last scene to be? What does your journey look like up until that point? It's so important to reflect on your values because you don't want to get steered or pushed in a direction that really doesn't align with you and your values and what you truly want simply because you're allowing outside influences to make decisions for you. So you have to ask yourself, what are my core values? What passions do I have? What makes me excited? And what am I building a foundation for and working toward? You have so many options, but there are also so many distractions and things that can pull you in a direction that you necessarily did not want to go. And I'm not saying that you have to create this plan and stick to it rigidly. And if everything doesn't go right, your life sucks and you made bad choices. That is not it at all. Of course, life happens. Things are going to have to adjust and be flexible here and there. But you do still need to have a generalized, flexible five-year plan so that you know where you're going and you can take steps every single day to work toward that life. Step two is to simply set goals, figure out what those things are that you're working toward. I personally like to use the 12 week year to set goals because I feel like you accomplish so much more in a shorter amount of time. But when you're writing out your goals, always think of how they are contributing to building a life that's fulfilling and the life that you love and that you are working toward, that dream life that you have in mind for yourself. Don't think of the goals that we're often told we need to have. I always think about like younger kids when I was working and teaching and I was like, oh, what do you wanna be when you grow up? So many of them said a doctor. I would say maybe out of 500, five realistically wanted to be doctors and they are now on a path working toward that goal. It's just something that they always heard, like, oh, a doctor is a great profession, which it is. But again, they didn't take a moment, they were little, but the idea is they haven't taken a moment to sit down and figure out what they really want. They're giving you answers that they think you want to hear or based on what they've heard from others. You don't want to be like that four or five year old child who's just saying, I want to be a doctor. You want to figure out what you actually want to do with your life, not what anyone else has told you to do, not what you think you should do based on societal standards, your personal goals, your personal dreams, what you genuinely want for yourself. Take a moment, sit in silence, write these things down, and then add those into your goal list for your five-year plan. So now you've got your list, you've got your goals, they're aligned with your core values and your passions in life. It's time to put them in action. Five years sounds like it's a long time, but in reality, it sneaks up on you. Like one day you're trying to figure out what the next steps are, and then you realize, wow, so much more time has gone by than I expected, and I haven't made any progress. So when you start making action, remember to put them into those small chunks. If your goal is a big overarching goal that you're gonna reach at the five-year point, 
Break that down. What needs to happen years one through four and during that year five in order to get you to that goal? So let's say, for example, it's starting a business. You wanna have your business started, launched at that five year mark. What's the first thing you're gonna do? Year one can be focused on making your business plan. Year two can be focused on marketing, trademarking, getting everything set up under your LLC or creating an S Corp, whatever that looks like for you in your business and your goals. So every year you're taking a big step toward reaching that final goal. You're not just being stagnant and kind of trying to figure out what you should be doing because you have your plan laid out with your goals at the end in sight. Now, like I mentioned, five years is a long time. So for step four, it's really important to make sure that you have support and accountability set up to help you reach those goals and achieve your five-year plan. It is really, really difficult to do things on your own. Yes, it is completely possible. You have so many amazing qualities and I'm sure different unique talents that are going to help you be successful. But sometimes you just need someone else to boost you along, to lift you up, and that is okay. You need to have a support system and allow them to help you. Now here's the thing, make sure that you trust the people who you're choosing to be in your support system and kind of like your village, your bubble, who are holding you accountable. It's really helpful if you make sure that it's kind of a give and take, that you're not just telling them all your plans and ideas because sometimes unfortunately people cannot be trusted. But if it really is a supportive accountability, they're sharing things with you, you're sharing things with them and you're helping each other stay motivated and move toward a finish line. If you don't have anyone like that in your life currently, that is okay. You can join different communities, you can reach out to someone like a life coach to be your accountability partner, you can create your own support system, your own village that is going to help you actually continue taking steps toward that goal, that dream life, the life that you love, and not letting you lose sight of your why. The reason that you decided to embark on this journey or to have this idea of what you want for your life in the first place, there are people there rooting for you, reminding you, and helping you to stay accountable. And then for step five, you have to be willing to adjust. Yes, adaptability is a huge part of having a five-year plan because realistically, life does not always go according to plan. But remember, there are so many different directions and journeys that you can take to get to that same destination, to reach that same goal. It does not have to be perfectly laid out or done the way that you think it should have been done. Life is gonna throw you some curveballs, but you can overcome those challenges by being prepared being prepared to adjust, being prepared to adapt as needed, looking at things positively, making sure that your mindset is still forward focused, that is really going to help you get to where you're going. Even if you're like, I was on this track, now I'm on this track, you're still going the same direction. And so you are working toward your dream life, a life that you love, and the distractions and the road bumps and the turns are just taking you on a different course to end up at the same place. That's why having a strong foundation and a clear vision of what you want your life to look like is so important because everything else in the middle doesn't necessarily impact you because you're going places. You know what you want, you've got it figured out, your way to get there may change or shift just a little bit, but you're still gonna get there. So start making your five-year plan thinking about the things that are really important to you, the things that you value, what that looks like. I suggest making a vision board to go along with it because then you have some type of visual representation to see like, I'm coming, I am on my way, this is my reminder, I am really doing everything that I can to get to this point, staying motivated, taking the turns as they come, but I see my vision and I am reaching out for it and getting what I deserve in life. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Affirmations with Amber.